You know, second quarter took a step, third quarter took a step, fourth quarter we were relentless. And, you know, I thought just that, um, you know, like we talked about pregame and, and since our first game, you know, it's not going to be pretty, you know, for a little while here. Um, you know, we got to just continue to fight um, to, to play for each other and, and um, figure out ways to compete and stay in games. Um, while we figure out rotations and combinations and, and what we're what we're all about. So, um, you know, that was there. I thought it, it progressed. Second quarter was better than the first, third better than the second, and fourth was the best of all. So really just proud of the guys for, you know, their competition level, but they stuck with it, guys in and out of the lineup, uh, you know, lots of different combinations playing, and we didn't get, par you know, paralysis. Um, because of all the newness and change, we just fought and played, and I think we got a little bit of a, uh, a confidence boost as the night went on. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously he shot the ball well. Um, you know, he, he <laughs> very well, um, but he he also is just a smart defender. You know, I think he he knows the game plan and and he's has a good feel, and so he. You know, I thought it impacted the game at both ends of the floor and uh, was proud of his performance. You uh, still, I mean, even though you were holding your own on the boards throughout, competing better than you had in Milwaukee throughout, I mean, you're still down at 10, mm -hmm. about five minutes to go. Mm -hmm. uh, to close on a 16-1 to run, was there something in there that you guys found that you could either take advantage of on their end or that you think you can bottle going forward? Uh, you know, I think we... You know, I think just our, our, we were relentless with our competition, you know, our willingness to fight for good looks, our willingness to scrap defensively. I don't think there's anything that we're going to, you know, bottle up and put in a museum from this one. But it was, uh, it was just uh, a team effort, guys coming in and out and not worrying about being in the right spot, but just fighting, scrapping and, and trying to compete. And so, you know, I think we, sure we made, we made a lot of plays down the stretch, but, you know, that was more because of our willingness to keep going. You know, when we were down, we, we were down 10, you know, it seems like every few minutes it was back to 10. So their, their willingness to, to continue to compete and believe, um, you know, is the reason they won the game. Steve, you just, I apologize if, if you've been asked this, but uh, uh, it was so similar for three quarters to what happened in Milwaukee. Do you think that there was just some kind of uh, ability that they had to find some resolve to not let it go to yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think that was it. it you know, um, just the, the level of competition and combativeness was there. We were relentless. We never, you know, never broke and uh, just kept coming at them. You know, even I think five minutes left, we're down 10. Uh, they went on a little run to get it back to 10. You know, it was a time where you're, you could, you know, a new team like this could lose confidence and doubt, question themselves. They didn't. You know, we talked about it in the huddle. A little poise, a little belief, and, and to continue to compete, they can win this game, and they did. And it's, I think it's just the attitude and a willingness to compete and not fold.